Things are heating up in Whole Cake Island. Pedro is going to be the bait for Brooke. And Luffy still wants to fight Big Mom. We just can't get out of this peacefully, can we? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Bus. And we're back with another One Piece reaction today. And yeah, the chaos of Whole Cake Island has had our group split up into a number of places. And there's certain levels of threat in each scenario. I mean, Carrot almost got boiled alive last time. And actually, it's still in the process. We cut away from that a lot. Gonna hop into these. If you do the channel, make sure you drop a sub drop a like on this one and let's get started <laughs> uh, i wouldn't say just enter the new world i don't know hug hazard and dress rosa pretty big hurdles big mommy that's true and i said that it's one of the scarier things about big mom is how many people she's fighting for that are really strong like cracker she doesn't realize what Sanji means to Luffy, though. It's it's just... Nah, it's not happening. Yeah, she doesn't have to even move now. Like, she can leave them there. It's impossible to break out. It's gonna have to be one of the other straw hats or something. Or, like, Pedro. <laughs> she can make me pay for it. <laughs> Remember? Remember? <laughs> so petty, bro. All the treasure you got from King. Okay. Why'd she bring it up? Was there something like insanely rare? Wait, what was in the treasure? I didn't hear your treasure box, so I was passed down for. What? Wait, is that the one with the exploding thing in it? Wait, no. I think that is. <gasps> Wait, she hasn't opened it. Oh. I love that damn cloud so much. I don't know why. Wait, is she gonna open it on call? Oh no! Oh no! Bro, it's gonna be like a declaration of war. Bro, Luffy does not remember anything about that. He just wants Sanji. Actually, he didn't witness the whole thing. The only people that realized it... Oh. oh, Big Mom doesn't know. Clueless. Luffy almost outed putting there, Loki. I guess her ignorance is confidence in, in pudding. What? Killed Lola? Yeah, what? Oh, she thinks she killed Lola to take the V-Bear card. Bro, no, we're, we're like chill vibers with Lola. Yeah. Why does she not mention her mom was an emperor? Bro, Nami looks so young. Chopper looks so young. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Lola's chilling. How does she take that info? What if she's mad at Lola for just handing it out? Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I already figured it meant nothing. Oh. Oh, lovely. Why? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ran away, rejecting the biggest ever in political marriage. Was she, wait. Was she supposed to marry one of Sanji's brothers? No. Oh my. Cause she loved Absalom. Bro, wait, why would Lola not tell them that, like, she ran away? And wouldn't she assume that she's not on good terms? She was, like, sending them into a trap. <laughs> oh, listen, man. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, to be fair, I don't know how strong exactly Kaido. And I feel like I still don't really know how strong Shanks are. Shanks is, but Whitebeard? I don't know, Big Mom. I guess I still didn't really know how strong Big Mom is. Oh no. She gonna send an assassin to throw her bark? Bro, Luffy looked mad. Oh. Bro, Nami's face? <laughs> He's doubling down. I 
still don't understand why did she just go there and confront him. I don't know. The emperors are such weird, like in terms of power scaling to me, because like, bro, I still don't even know if Shanks has a devil fruit. To me, he's still just like a dude with a sword with like conquerors hockey. Like, uh, you know, dude, it's crazy seeing the red poneglyph. I want to see where Jinbei is, honestly, and why he would even give her a poneglyph. Is that a bunny with two swords? Dude, is I'm just I'm thinking this now. Is Baron even does he even have a devil fruit or is he just like a really tall dude in a shell? Either would make sense for One Piece. That guy looks like Foxy. You, that's like uncanny. So they're just there to guard. I mean, smoothie. I feel like is plenty. A literal general. Like a guards outside too. How many can Pedro bait away? Dun, dun. Dun, dun. Oh. oh damn! Bro, Pedro's scary when he want to be. Did he take out like every chest piece? Oh, he piled him up. Cover's blown. These guys are like the definition of cannon fodder though. Especially, actually the chest pieces are, to be honest. But I mean, it is smart because Baron knows a lot about Pedro and who he is. Doesn't know about Brooke. And as long as he acts as the bait, their sense of security is heightened. Who has dynamite? Oh my God. Bro, we're not going in quietly. Oh, wait, it didn't blow it. Oh, is like a key or something? Oh, it, <laughs> he just keeps throwing dynamite. Okay, dude. Dude, Mink still sounds like a slur. Jaguar Mink is playing into Tamago's plan to guard against him. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my, look at those legs. So does she actually just juice people, like drain people like she did that one girl? Wait, wait, this is really good as she leaves though. So she's kind of like, she won, she loves fighting. She's like being baited out really easily. Wait, this is going perfectly. If Pedro can evade. I'm trying to remember, did Tamago see someone with Pedro? No, I don't think he did. Dude, poor Sanji, man. There's nothing he can do to protect everyone. He's trying. I feel like this is the first time he's like really heavy simped pudding. <laughs> he's trying to see the bright side. Yeah, bro, because we're like before now, dog. Think about Sanji marrying someone is crazy. The dress she chose was rejected. What? Oh no, what dress did Big Mommy pick? Why not everything after the wedding? Even the, the freaking uh, honeymoon? She's going to take a stroll in the rain. Okay. Why is it so specific what dress she wears? A doll, because she dresses her. Dang, bruh. Wow, this is so pretty. The color, it was like a watercolor painting. Oh, she's thinking about Lola. So Lola literally just ran away whenever, oh dang, bro. That, yeah, that is surprising that Lola would assume that her mom, that especially knowing who Big Mom is, would want to like hear about her. That's crazy. She's obviously close to pudding though, despite how many siblings there are. God, Nami's still all sticky too. What the f What the hell is that? Is that a motorcycle centipede, bro? And glaze? What the fuck is that? Bro's got a Harley Davidson. Is he a child? Can he, is he even old enough to have a license? He keeps saying intrude. <laughs> oh no, you've cooked once again. Smoothie's there. Slurp. It's Zeus's hat that I like. Germ is powered even the... Okay, I hate to break it to you about the tomate box. It's gonna happen at the most pivotal moment too that she opens it. There will be no hope left. Sanji's about to get married. She's gonna open it. Look how happy they all look. A signal to the hat? Wait, is she gonna go deal with it herself? 
Oh, no. Nah. Oh, they're just gonna start stepping on them. Oh, she don't know what they're actually going for. Bro, you got the emperor after you now, Pedro. Okay, this place is huge, though. So many, like, places to hide and whatnot. Ooh. Wait, Brooke can also, like, change into, like, the ghost, like, the soul. Well, no, he can't move his physical body, though. Yo, good luck. The explosions in the background. Good luck, Brooke. This all lies on him. Wait, I bet he goes in and he uses that like uh Mangekyo Sharingan type thing where like he puts people in a world and then while they're distracted by it, I don't know. There's there's a lot in there, a lot of like troops. 814. Bro is just flying through these troops. I want to know more about these chess pieces. Like, are they sentient? Do they all like work a nine to five and then go home to like their chess piece wife? Who is this guy? Why is he the guard of the stairs? Oh. What, what was that? I'm not gonna lie, I thought Big Mom took a step. Damn, dude, Pedro is kind of cracked. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this wall running. Oh. They got him thinking differently now. <gasps> okay, so yeah, yeah, I, I figured, I thought so. He knew that there was another here. Mm -hmm. He figured it out! Oh no, she's gonna go back. Oh no. Nah. He's cutting him down right now. You better hurry up, Brooke! They're gonna close the door out of fear of Brooke. Oh wait, no, he's not in yet. Sneak in, slip in! No, he's gonna be like right behind them. Right? Attaboy! Yes, sir! Now cut him down, take the poneglyph, and run. Well, the writing's on the poneglyph. Now he can lock it. Wait, that's huge! That's huge! He's gotta take out like these mini guards. But at least Smoothie can't get back in. And Tamago. This room looks so cool, especially with the road poneglyph up there. You're strange even for this country. Damn, boy! Putting it away! Oh, he's got a lot to take out. Never mind. I underestimated heavily how many people were in this room. Hey, but like I said, he could use that like Mangekyo. Put him in the trance. Oh. Did she already make it back? Oh my god. Bro, if he hadn't gotten in and locked the door, she would already be there. And I don't want to underestimate Brooke, but she's a freaking general. I feel like she would have cooked him. There's only one entrance. Mmm. There's no other way out. <laughs> Bro's thinking about Big Mom's collective. Bro, Smoothie's over it, low key. Oh, gosh. Okay, Brooke's gonna clap everyone in here. Take the writing and then just wait. That's what he should do. Or, like, try to start carving out, like, a hole in the room. Okay, so their their chess pieces was just like souls, just like the candy. I mean, that makes sense. <gasps> the power of music! My gosh, this is perfect! Wait, or he just starts losing to one chess piece with a sword. Rook! Wait, that might be a big twist though, if he can actually control them since they have like souls within them. Like everything has a soul. These are solely souls though. Strum it! Oh, Brooke died. Now it's gonna do that thing where they all explode off of him and he riffs. The... Yeah. <laughs> okay, dude. It's like the end of the SpongeBob movie, bro. I'm a goofy goof. <laughs> okay. Okay, dude. Dude, the famous musician returns. Wait, it's actually deleting their souls. Oh! Baby. I miss baby five. And Senor Pink. And Don Quixote family in general. I hope baby five and Sire are doing okay. What? What is that? Oh no, that's kind of creepy. I'm not gonna lie. He took their souls and made a beast. 
Looks like the villain from Cyber Chase Scooby Doo. Baby. Wait, Brooke is actually gonna be OP on Whole Cake then. If this applies to like the foods and stuff. Because why would it not? Because the foods are also like infused with souls, no? Who's guarding Sanji? <laughs> okay. Okay, man. <laughs> Better check the. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> what a nice, nice little guy. Why would he say that out of nowhere? <gasps> He's going to give flowers for pudding. Oh. Wait, I know this is an arranged marriage. They could actually be a W, a W couple. Oh my God, I forgot. Yo, is, is Kara going to get boiled alive or not, man? Oh, I totally forgot about this. We didn't even cover it last episode. Bro, she been hanging for a while. If we cut away before this resolves again, at least this scenario. Wait, how many people are in here now? Oh my gosh. This party got kind of crowded, low key. Why that cow look like that? I think I got a shot with Brulee. All I know is Chopper says he's like, oh. Chopper's like playing on going like monster point. No, he's gonna shrink and get the cuffs off. Oh, wait, what? Wait, but wouldn't the frog like not be able to talk? I thought they were all like animals. Oh my, is she just yelling from there? Oh my, bro, what is this plan? This is so stupid. It's in the attic right above her. That's so, what, yeah, they're planning on sacrificing this frog. Dude, Diesel is kind of creepy. I'm not gonna lie. Well, 07's for this poor frog and a fake carrot's body. You will be missed. I like how Chopper even was like, yeah, I kind of feel bad. I'm not gonna lie. I thought you said the plan starts as soon as they drop the fake carrot in. What? What? The plan was to knock out Randolph? Damn, that was a hell of a throw, carrot. We're, are we saving the frog? Is that high priority? Oh, 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 you're kind of doing this slowly. Oh, that's why he said bro Brulee dug her own grave. They're all stuck in this house with all that boiling water. Oh my, oh my God, bro. Oh! How do you live through that? She's bathing in it. Oh, she's fine. A mere distraction. They're gonna escape, run around Mirror World a little bit more. Okay, yeah, Chopper could have popped out whenever he wanted to. Oh, shoot! Wait, he's gonna go crazy on him! As, yeah, because I swear, he did say Monster Point was like part of the plan, no? Oh, and yeah, we'll be back in like two episodes. <laughs> come, come, man is watching over them. Hey! Be nice. It's come, come, man. You can't, Luffy, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, who dat? Is it another strange individual? Oh, Pudding! Oh, coming to see them? Oh, she did want to talk to them. Or Nami wanted to talk to Pudding. Or Luffy asked to talk. Wait, no, yeah, Nami asked to talk to Pudding. Oh. She's going to talk to them privately? Oh, no, they're like, oh, shoot. No way. Okay, dude. All right. The bookmark that opens it. She just wanted to get close, I guess. I don't know. Does she feel bad? I mean, she's the only reason they got as far as they did. Ah, oh, they haven't been that bad. Yeah, I was pretty unlucky that Brule was like chilling with Sanji on the coast. <laughs> this guy, bro. Oh. Bro, it's like, make it like how to break out. Like you guys? Oh. Oh, like him confessing his love to her. Oh, she's telling him that he's like, he's like locking in. Like he's, he's dedicating to her. Dude, maybe it's inevitable. Actually, it's starting to feel like that. And this garden is pretty. Oh my gosh, it's like another watercolor. It's so bright. Oh, 
And Luffy and Nami are like, oh shoot, this is gonna happen. To be honest though, what other choice does Sanji have? Cause like, if he doesn't completely commit, then it just makes it worse for everyone because Luffy is going to feel like he has an, a chance to actually rescue him. But if he commits to Pudding and genuinely tries to love her, it makes it easier on both of them. And then you just figure everything out after that. But like, it would actually result in Sanji leaving the Straw Hats, right? Because he would be a part of the Big Mom Pirates, marrying into that family like it's inevitable i feel like you are inherently inherited into the family so i don't know man it's such a sticky scenario but like i said luffy being trapped up like this makes it feel impossible like someone has to rescue both of them there's no way to break out it's actually really op and at this point unless we hear where like jinbei is no one else has the ability to they're a uh, carrot and chopper are stuck in mirror world and then brook and pedro are, are, are like causing a war so i don't know this is as dire as it's felt in the wild but it's a lot of politics and it's a lot of moving pieces at the same time Pedro's going absolutely dummy though I'm not gonna lie and I think Brooke is smart enough to come up with a plan in order to get out of there but we're gonna have to see what smoothie can really do eventually besides like, like I said I feel like that is her devil fruit like that has to be a devil fruit is juicing someone but the application of that in battle I feel like there's a lot of ways it could go but guys that's been it for my reaction to one piece today I hope you enjoyed drop a like on this one if you have not already and I will catch you next time Peace, peace.